Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Diablo 4 video. Well, yesterday we had a treat to the end game and with it came a whole bunch of stuff about the Paragon board. And some of you may be confused about how you can get the best out of this. Well, today I got you covered. I'll be showing you all the best Paragon boards for the Necromancer. All of the different legendary glyphs that you can get, some of the best paths that you can take for your necromancer. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started because the Paragon board is the end game and it's going to unlock at a very specific level. That is going to be unlocked at level 50. Now, every level after you hit level 50, you're going to get four different Paragon points and you can use these points to upgrade your Paragon board and get yourself some legendary glyphs as well as some regular glyphs as well boosting up your power now a lot of people was confused when they flipped the board but I got you covered there's a really cool website where you can go over all of your different characters go over different builds that you like as well as Paragon boards as well as the different glyphs and it's going to be super important for us to path out this before because you know it's going to cause quite a bit to get those nodes back. So once you reach level 50, you're gonna get your four different Paragon points. Now, we're gonna be heading over to the Diablo build calculator. I'll leave a link down below. And here's the thing, everybody's gonna start off on the same Paragon node in the middle. Then from there, you can branch out. Of course, there are different sorcerer builds, different druid builds, and you can play around with this at this website, but we're all gonna start at the same node once we hit level 50. But for right now, we're gonna go over all of the different legendary nodes that you can get on each one of these different Paragon boards. Let's start off with the very first legendary node called Cult Leader. Your minions deal 10% increased damage for each minion type you have active. This only applies to minion types, Skeletal Warrior, Skeletal Mage, and Golem. Since all of these we're going to have active, at least for me, that's a whopping 30% extra damage. Pokey Monstrosity is up next. Your Golem has a 30% increased maximum life and 30% increased damage. Who doesn't want that? And Flush Eater, consuming five courses, now grants 40% increased damage for six seconds. Now, I do believe this will affect your blood bill, no matter if you have Miss Missa equipped or just regular corpse explosion. Center Death, with at least two corpse nearby, you gain 15% damage reduction. With no corpse nearby, you deal 15% increased damage. Bone Grab, hitting enemies with bone skills, increase your damage by 1% and your maximum instant by 3 for 8 seconds, stacks up to 7.5, increased damage, and up to 22.5 maximum essence, so we'll be definitely using our bone skills a whole lot more. Also, Blood Regrets Blood. Blood Orbs grant 5% increased damage up to 15% for 5 seconds, could be very useful. We also have Blood Bath, attacks that are guaranteed to overpower your 50% increase overpower damage. And Wither, your shadow damage over time effects have a 5% chance to deal 50% bonus damage each time they deal damage. This chance is increased by 1% and bonus damage is increased by 2.5% for each 50 willpower you have. We also have the best path for the Necromancer, at least in my opinion, if you're going to be dealing with a nice blood bill as well as having that undead army. Now, of course, we're gonna all start off on the same note. I'm gonna head off to the right side so we can get this extra damage. Then we're gonna come and hit this glyph socket right here in the middle. Then we're gonna come up this back inside. The other notes that you see right here is what we're gonna get right before we hit level 100. All right, we're gonna hit that board attachment and here is where you can go to two different places. At least for me, there's two different places that you should start off. This note right here or this note over here. So you got two different Paragon boards with two different nodes we're trying to hit. Bone Graph as well as one that's going to boost up your minions. So if you want to boost up your minions first, you can go over here. Or if you want to boost up your bone damage, you got an option star for there. But both of these we want to get in and get out. We're going to hit these Paragon board attachments and then we're going to move on to the next board. So we're going to get these first two regardless. Totally up to you. Along the way, we're going to get Cult Leader, which is awesome, right? We're going to get up to 30% extra increased damage, and we're going to have all of those active, which is nice. And once we get Cult Leader, we're going to come down here. We're going to hit this node right here. This is going to be a nice glyph called Armor Clad. It's going to give us bonus armor 
to our means and life. And before we get out of here, we're going to hit up this board attachment and move on to the next one. So like I said, either one, you can do either one of those first, in my opinion. The other ones we want to spend more time in. So this is going to give us the most benefits as early on as possible before we hit level 100. All right, so we're going to come back over here to this board attachment. Right, we're going to come back over here and hit this one note right here in tune. A little extra critical hit chance. I mean, why not? And then we're going to get our next legendary node, which is going to be bone graph hitting enemies with that bone skill is going to get us extra damage up to 7.5% and up to 22.5% maximum essence, which is going to mean we're going to be able to use more bone graph, which is awesome. From there, we're going to get out of there. And we're going to be making our most efficient way through all of these nodes. Trust me, I took some time getting this. Hit this board attachment once again. And now it's pretty much up to you where you want to go. For me, I have two more different options that I'm going to choose. And I'm not sure exactly which one I'm going to go and I'll show you why. Flesh Eater, consuming five corpses of grants, 40% increased damage for six seconds. I do believe this will affect your blood build. So as long as you're using that, even if you're using Miss Missa, your corpse explosion should have 40% increased damage. And along the way, you're going to get extra damage as well. So these are going to be my next two nodes. You can either do that or you can come over here and get 30% extra damage for your golem. As well as a little bit extra damage for you as well with these other glyphs. So you can come over here and hit these board attachments up down to this glyph right here called Boral Strength. Where you're going to get 5% extra damage while your golem is active and an extra 5% if you meet the requirements. So extra 10% damage and a little bit of armor is absolutely amazing. And then from there, we're going to make our way up to our legendary node where we're going to get 30% extra increased life and damage for our golem. A little bit more damage right here and a little bit of intellect. And then we have our glyph socket. And this is the closest glyph socket that I see that is to this legendary node. Will it hit it? I'm not 100% sure, but it's damn close. <laughs> if not, we still want to get a little bump from the glyph nodes. We're going to get up this to hit up our golem to make him just a little bit more tankier. And then we can get up out of here, right? So this is pretty much going to boost up our damage as well as our golem. Hit that board attachment up once again. And we're going to come straight over here to that next note, which I told you, you can either do this one or the next one. This one is amazing. Strifle is going to give us 12.5% damage to injured enemies and a bonus extra 12.5% and 4.5% critical strike damage if the requirements are met. So that's a whopping almost close to 25% damage. That's amazing right there. Then of course we're going to get Flesh Eater. Like I said, this should affect your corpse build, even Miss Missa, because you're going to be getting that extra damage, 40% increased damage, which is pretty awesome. And then from there, we're going to come down here. We're going to have targeted extra damage to elites, 8.3% and then another 8.3% with Glyph Socket should boost up all of this damage to elites as well as 5% resistance to all elements and intelligence and an extra 5% if we meet the requirements and hopefully we do because that's amazing with the extra Glyph on top of that. It's going to boost it all about. Before we get out of here, a lucky hit chance. So why not get this on your build? And then we're going to hit that last board attachment up for a little bit yet again. And then we're going to come to what I will believe will be the last note that I'm going to come into. Then the last points into the beginning one that I showed you over here. We got extra damage to healthy enemies. So why not? And then scent of death with at least two corpse new vi, you're going to get 15% damage reduction with no corpse, 15% extra damage. So that's always going to be active either or. And then another glyph that's going to boost up more damage to injured enemies, which is amazing. So that glyph should boost up that 12.5% plus another 12.5. Wow. 25% damage boosted up by our glyph as well as preservation, which is going to give us 125 armor, 10 intelligence, plus a bonus 125 armor if the requirements are met. Boosted up by the glyph. On top of that as well look I did my homework dude this is gonna be an amazing glyph build for the necromancer and I'll let you know how it works out when the full game comes out but for right now that's pretty much going for the video I hope you truly enjoyed it as always if you are new to the channel how you doing and welcome don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpal Wheel for a little wide variety of videos range from updates tips and tricks guides and news and a whole lot more so if you enjoyed this video once again thank you everybody for all your love and support as always I'll be seeing y'all in the next one later.